Hi guys, welcome back. This is Deepesh from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on jobs and careers. Today we are dealing with top 20 interview questions that is asked in Android. So now we will be dealing with question number 6 to 10. So let's start with the 6th question. The most important question would be what does Android architecture consist of? Android architecture consists of mainly 4 layers. The topmost layer would be your Android applications. The second layer would be your framework. The third layer would be your libraries. The bottommost layer would be your Linux kernel. So now in these four layers, you have the bottommost layer has the Linux kernel where you will be having all the driver features. The topmost layer, you will be having your apps, you know, probably your uh, camera. So probably you will be having calculator and these kind of apps. The third layer would be having a runtime environment with some libraries. Now, what is there in the second layer? You have activity manager, you have window manager, you have all these kind of managers in your second layer. Before going to the interview, just search the internet like Android architecture, you'll be having an image getting with four layers. So if you just look up to it, and if you are able to remember one or two names, that should be fine. The seventh question, what is the difference between an activity and a service? Activity, which is visible to the user, where at the end of the day, you press back button, activity is nowhere visible. Whereas a service is something which learns for a very long time. You know, if it can call has a services which will be running in the background for a very long time. So activity is something which is always seen in the foreground, you know, whereas service is something which will be running in the background. So you don't have to tell the exact definition, but you, if you know service is something which helps you run a long process. So if you know this, you know, it should be fine. The next question is the eighth question. So the most important question that is asked would be something like what is a manifest file? So manifest file is a very important file in the Android app. So now in an Android architecture, manifest file holds a very important role where you will be declaring all your permissions, whether you want to access a location or you want to access a camera, it has to be defined in your manifest. Without defining your manifest, it doesn't work. The next important stuff, you have to declare all your services that you're using in your app. The next important stuff, you'll be declaring all your activities that is used in an Android app in your manifest file. So manifest file consists of all these informations at once, which helps in building an Android app. So manifest file is where you declare all your activities and all your services, as well as the permissions that is required for an app. So this is a very important question. The ninth question would be something like, can you tell what is the life cycle of an activity? You have to remember this very carefully. And one important question that would be asked is something like, what is the life cycle of an activity? There are five important methods in an activity. The first method is on create, on start, on resume, on pause, on stop, and on destroy. Now, you need to know what happens exactly in this method. And one important question that you should be knowing is, on create would be called only once. So this is the most important thing that they will be looking out when you say the life cycle of an activity. So on create would be called only once, but when you change the orientation, right? When you change the orientation, assume you are in a portrait mode, when you change to landscape mode, on create would be called again. So this is a very important point when somebody asks you what is an activity and uh, what is the life cycle of an activity. The five methods on create, on stop, on resume, on pause, on stop, and on destroy. The next important question would be something like, what is an APK? So APK is the final output that you install on your app. So when you say an app, you are not, you will not be installing an app. In turn, you will be installing a .apk file on your phones. So what does this APK consist of? This APK consists of all your uh, resources, all your Java folders that you will be using in your code. So all this would be combined and formed into a single file known as an APK file. So this should be fine. If you are looking for an Android jobs, please register at our website www.freshersworld.com. So the next questions from 11 to 15 would be in the coming videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Android videos. Thank you. All the best.